Damn it! Dave! Dave! Where's the sound? Da Dave! I can't your microphone, I can't it's not on! Click on the button with the picture of the microphone. Every time a villain calls in, this happens. Hello? Sometimes designing sound for a scene can be sort of like orchestrating a group of sounds. It's almost like working with an orchestra in a sense. Mainly it's three elements coming together. It's dialogue, music, and effects. And it's the balance of those three elements. It may not look much when you get into a recording studio, but every button, every piece of glass, all goes into how a voice recording can sound. My name is Ty Sheldon. I'm the recording engineer for DreamWorks Animation. My name is Rick Ramatka, and uh, I'm the in-house sound designer, sound mixer here at DreamWorks Animation. All right, Chris, we are rolling. Why don't you give me an A, B, and a C? Okay. Are you my family? Oh, are you my family? Oh, are you my family? All right, Chris, I was picking up a little bit too much noise on that third take. You want to get another three? Okay. Okay, we're rolling. Hello, are you my family? You don't have a family and we're all going to die. What? That's the gold right there. Gold. <laughs> Without sound, there would be no movies. I mean, you wouldn't be able to really tell the story. You know, say you're listening to a song, that's audio telling a story without picture. Say you sit down to watch a movie and for a moment there's a completely blank screen. Once that music comes in, you know exactly how to feel because of the way the music is making you feel, whether it's dark or whether it's happy. You immediately know without any visual what the director is trying to make you feel at this particular moment. In a feature like The Penguins of Madagascar, the sound designer and mixer, Paul Otteson, can be working with anywhere from 150 to 1,100 audio tracks. You know, each and every one of these sounds plays a particular role in telling the story. Also, sounds are purposely placed in various speakers around the room in order to make your listening experience that much more exciting. Fire in the hole! Every frequency has its part in the storytelling. Take the bass, for instance. That's something you can physically feel, and that rumble is gonna make the biggest action sequences really come to life. Dark, duh. <coughs> and scene. So good. I think now more than ever, we're seeing some pretty major leaps in technology which are affecting the way that people watch and listen to movies. Advances in home theater technologies are constantly making it easier for people to feel like they're a part of the action that's unfolding on screen. I think these days people are becoming more and more aware of the role that sound plays in storytelling. More and more often, people are looking for a bigger experience. So whether you're in a theater or your own home, people are always looking for new ways of hearing a story come to life.